previous tutorial, we learned how the stomach helps in the process of digestion and makes chyme. Now let us see what happens to this chyme as it enters into the duodenum part of the small intestine. If you like what you see on our channel, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. The small intestine is the part of the elementary canal between the stomach and the large intestine which aids in both digestion and absorption. It is a hollow, highly coiled tube of about 7 meters long and 2.5 centimeters wide and is folded in the abdomen. It is called small intestine because its diameter is very small. So it is the diameter and not the length which gives it this name. The small intestine is divided into three parts, the duodenum, the jejunum and the ileum. Let us understand what happens to the chyme in the first section of the small intestine called the duodenum. It is here that most of the final breakdown of food occurs. Chemical digestion in the small intestine relies on the activities of three accessory digestive organs, the liver, the gallbladder and the pancreas. Let us understand the role of liver in the process of digestion. The liver is the largest gland in the body which produces a yellowish green watery liquid called the bile. This bile is temporarily stored in the gallbladder which flows to the duodenum along the bile duct. When the food reaches the duodenum from the stomach, it is acidic in nature due to the presence of hydrochloric acid in it. The body has to then turn the food from an acidic form to an alkaline one. This is where bile comes in. Bile contains sodium hydrogen carbonate which helps to partially neutralize the acid content of the food received from the stomach and provide the alkaline conditions needed for the enzymes in the small intestine to work. Bile also has a second role which is to emulsify fats. So what do you understand by emulsification? Well, let me explain. Emulsification is a type of mechanical digestion in which the bile salts break down the large drops of fat into very tiny droplets which helps in providing larger surface area making it easier for the enzyme lipase in the pancreatic juice to digest them into fatty acids and glycerol. This helps speed up the digestion process. So overall bile has two roles to play to neutralize stomach acid and to emulsify fats. Now let us understand the role of pancreas in the process of digestion. Pancreas is a cream colored gland lying just underneath the stomach. It secretes pancreatic juice which travels through the pancreatic duct into the duodenum. The pancreatic juice contains three kinds of enzymes. Pancreatic amylase which breaks down leftover starch into maltose, trypsin, a protease enzyme which breaks down proteins to polypeptides and lipase which acts on the emulsified fats to break them down into fatty acids and glycerol. These enzymes do not work well in acidic environments. Hence, the partially acidic chyme which has come from the stomach needs further neutralization. So to solve this problem, the pancreatic juice containing sodium hydrogen carbonate helps to partially neutralize this acid in the chyme and provides an alkaline environment for the enzymes to work efficiently. So we can see here that the pancreatic juices and the bile that are released into the duodenum help the body to digest fats, carbohydrates and proteins. This partially digested food is then sent 
to the next part of the small intestine. Stay tuned as we continue with the journey of the food in the jejunum and ileum part of the small intestine.